Hi class, today we are gonna watch a video on food chains. Um, I want you to go ahead and go get some paper and get a pencil or crayons if you have crayons and we are going to take notes together and the notes are gonna be drawing, it'll be fun. When we are done, you're going to take a picture of your notes and turn in your notes to me on Schoology so that I know that you did your work, okay? So we're gonna watch the video together on food chains. When I'm drawing, you're drawing, and then you're gonna take a picture and turn into me what you drew and what you wrote on your paper, okay? So let's go ahead and start the video. Living things get all they need from the area in which they live or their environment. If these ants do not hurry, they will be gobbled up by this hungry armadillo. Every living thing depends on other living things for food. How can you arrange these living things in order to show who eats what? Okay, so this is where you're gonna get your paper and your pencil or crayons, and we're going to draw together our food chain. We are going to connect how the energy transfers. So if you know what the first thing is, go ahead and draw it. I'm gonna give you a second to think about it. There's one very important thing that is how every single food chain starts, okay? I'm gonna give you a clue. I'm gonna start drawing it. I'm sure you know by now, it's the sun. The sun starts every food chain, okay? So that is how every food chain starts. After the sun comes obviously the transfer, so the energy from the sun is going somewhere else and it's going to go to the, what was the little ant holding? It was a leaf, so it was a plant. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a little plant. And the plant is always something important. Remember, plant starts with P and then it's producer, producer. All plants are producers. They produce the food. They make the food. They are the first kind of food, okay? And then the energy from the plant is going to go to our next organism, living thing, remember organism, which was the little ant. So we had the little ant. Right, and that was our ant, and the ant is consuming the producer. Consumer, when it consumes, it is the consumer. Then our last part of the food chain, the animal, the organism that's at the very top is going to be the predator, and that predator was our armadillo so he kind of uh, looked eh, kind of like that okay not a great armadillo but doesn't have to be perfect and he like we said is the predator He is hunting the prey. So many important words. We have predator, prey, consumer, producer, energy, organisms. And this is, all of this is called food chains. 
That's what your paper should look like right now. If it does not look like that yet and you need more time, pause the video and you can play it when you're ready to keep going. But I'm going to keep going with the video. If we arrange organisms in the order of who eats what, we create a food chain. A food chain shows us how energy flows from one living thing to the next. This armadillo gets its energy from eating these ants. The ants get their energy from the plants. Plants get their energy from the sun. So energy is transferring. We can draw food chains for any environment. Here are some examples of food chains found in beach environments and garden environments. Living things also depend on non-living things in their environment, such as water, air, sun, and shelter. What are the non-living things helping this plant live and grow? So the non-living things of the plant that it needs are the basic needs of the plant, right? So where did my notes go? And ah, uh, I hope they're still there. While we're waiting for this, um, let's think about what is the what is it that a plant needs to grow? Okay, so a plant, the non-living things of a plant. Non-living needs of the plant. They're going to be sun. We already have it right there. You know them. And then we need, they need water, air, and soil, which has nutrients in it. All of those are not organisms because they are not alive. They are non-living. Living organism, non-living is not an organism. And I noticed that our anteater is supposed to have a tail. So I'm going to draw him a little tail. And he's supposed to have some ears. That maybe looks better. Okay. So let's go back. Plants make their own food using non-living things, such as nutrients from the soil, air, sunlight, and water. Living things depend on each other and on non-living things in their environment to survive. Okay, so that is what we learned today. Let's right now go back to our notes. So while these notes are pulling up, you're going to get your phone or your camera that you have, and you're going to take a picture. Okay, so I'm going to take a picture right now. You're going to watch me take a picture of my notes. I took my picture. And now I have the picture and I can put that picture on Schoology. We're gonna go to Schoology. Remember what Schoology looks like. It's that little S and you're gonna turn it in where it says turn in notes. Okay, so um, you guys are doing awesome. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing great. I miss you. I love you guys and have a great day. Bye.